Happy Sunday, beautiful. Welcome back to Oh So Lovingly. And I have recently renamed this channel The Grand Millennial Guide because I feel like I have such a love and appreciation for everything Grand Millennial and so I just renamed the channel. I hope this is more descriptive too for when people are trying to find me because I am really trying to get monetized. So like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's get into this week's topic because I love, 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 love decorating for Christmas because here's why I love decorating for Christmas. It's already kind of a dreary time. It's a drearier time of year already. Like the weather is just like, uh, starting to feel like Scotland. When I was in Scotland, it was just gray and rainy and nothing special, nothing, nothing exciting. So I love making my home really exciting. And so this video is inspired by something I used to do when I was in my apartment, my one bedroom apartment in Atlanta. And all I had was a tiny tabletop Christmas tree. And that's really all I could do. So I want to give you some tips on helping you make a really beautiful mini tabletop Christmas tree. And it's really, really simple. All you need is like, they're, they're about $10, I'm not kidding. One of these, a little tinsel tree. My favorite is the, the miniature tinsel trees because they're so sparkly and they're very minimalist. You can, you can decorate them however you want. And a vase, I'm gonna use that one. So I'm gonna take the hydrangeas out tier and start decorating my tree. The other thing you can do with uh, tabletop Christmas trees, you don't have to make it super special and super unique and ornate. You can just get like those um, little straw Christmas trees and put them on your table. You can totally do that, absolutely. But um, if you wanna make more of, a little bit more of an impact in your small space and you want it to really bring you joy, this for me is what does that. So. Let's get started. What I'm actually gonna do first is combine these beautiful hydrangeas that are lasting forever, by the way. And if you wanna know how to keep hydrangeas alive for like up to a month, click on my video, how to keep hydrangeas alive. Uh, and this, this def it works every time. Like this is literally the, the second week and I haven't had to do anything to these. Um, but what I'm gonna do with these is Consolidate them with some flowers that I grabbed from church and I have to thank Miss Jane at our church She's one of the custodial staffers at church. Um, she knows I love flowers and She just told me like hey, there was a wedding you need to go get some of those flowers because they're gonna let them dry out So look at the flowers Are you ready? Y'all Ranunculus Roses and I love this guy at the top. Like, what a beautiful wedding. Oh, it was such a nice bouquet for the wedding. Um, and I just stuck that one going out on the side because it's so quirky and fun. But yeah, I'm just gonna consolidate these all together because, oh my gosh, that wedding, that wedding was beautiful. But they left flowers. They just left a ton of flowers behind. So thank you, Miss Jane, for giving me permission to take some home. <laughs> I mean, look at all these flowers I've got. <laughs> Every time I move a hydrangea or add it, add water to it, I have to cut it so there's clean surface area for it to drink up all that water. Look at this beautiful orange ranuncula. I can't with how beautiful that ranuncula is. Look how beautiful this ranuncula is with that deep purple of whatever this is. If anyone knows what it is, please comment and tell me because I love them. And then they're gonna come over here. Okay, so when it comes to putting a tinsel tree in a face, this is this is what I do. I literally just bend down all of the bottom lever levels. I just bend down all the bottom levels of your tree so it can fit into the base. And that way it kind of has like a little bit of a support so it doesn't go in there and just like flop to the side. Um, so I just kind of bundle it together and stick it in the base. Okay. And there you have it. 
So, that is our tree. We're not done. No, no. Step one, the tree is in, but now what we need to do is get the ribbons on first. Now, I'm actually going to be doing a craft of this next week, so please stay tuned. I'm gonna do the most fun craft of really big ribbons you can, you can make for your Christmas tree. But what I'm gonna do is just tie bows all around your tree. Please enjoy this time lapse of me putting the bows on my tree. Okay, so the bows are in for a tiny tree. We have, drum roll, tiny ornaments. These beautiful vintage little glass ornaments are perfect for a mini tree. And I find these at estate sales um, and they're just so cute. They're so cute. Like, I just can't. Um, I got a lot of gold ones. I think this this particular crew, I was at an estate sale and they were like, oh, you can just get however many you want and we'll only charge you like $2. So I got a lot of these. Um, and I love that I have like one blue one that can tie in with the base. You need to have your little hooks. Now, if you don't have hooks and your little ornaments have a hole at the top that's big enough, you could push them through. And with this, I have already decided where the, the front of the tree is gonna be. Uh, I made sure that the bow is pointing in the direction. I'm not just going to be using these little ornaments. I'm gonna also be mixing in some of my very favorite vintage glass ornaments. And I have a very soft spot in my heart for my mini tree because it was with me in my apartment. So typically for a mini tree, this hook is way too long. I'm just gonna be real with you. So what you wanna do, if, if you want, you could just reshape it to look like that so it hangs a little closer to the branch. Cause like you don't want that. more of what we want. I'm obsessed with vintage Christmas ornaments like y'all don't even know. And again, since we're doing a mini tree, you don't want a long hook. So I'm going to hang closer to the tree branch. Here we go. Oh, it's looking so happy and dainty. That's really what I love about a tabletop tree. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. Maybe one more. It's really, really so happy. Oh my gosh, I love it. When I do this every year, it makes me so happy. I think that's my favorite thing about it, is it's dainty, it's cheerful, it helps brighten up your life when the outside is so dreary. And this is the way I like to do my mini trees, but there are so many different ways you can do your mini tree. You could get a bigger, different colored ribbon and tie it on the branches. Make sure the ribbon though is pushed back on the branches and it's not sitting too forward so your ornaments can shine. But yeah. I just think it's so much fun to have a happy miniature tinsel tree on your tabletop. So I hope you guys go out and find a really pretty tinsel tree that makes you happy and then have so much fun making your tabletop Christmas trees. This dress just came in the mail. Look at the bows on the sleeves. From Victoria Dunn. Oh my gosh. This dress, it's absolutely to die for. I literally, I can't 
picture a better holiday dress. It's so flattering. That's, I mean, it came and it looked like I got a small and it looked like it was gonna be big. No. When I put it on, I was like, oh, this is like perfect. This is so cute. And it comes with a little sash. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Thank you, Victoria Dunn. Wow, y'all, I love this brand. I really love this brand. They're such affordable dresses. So affordable and so beautiful. Like, it's all beautiful. And since I'm unboxing new things, I can finally show you my Christmas pagoda. I painted her for Urban Garden Prints and huh, I'm so excited. I am thrilled with the, um, the response we've been getting. It's been like crazy, but it was a blast making this. It was seriously so much fun. Okay, so a really quick uh, sneak peek for next week. Ha, that rhymed. I'm going to run a couple errands to pick up some things for the craft that I'm doing in the next vlog, which y'all are just gonna love. Y'all are just gonna absolutely love. It's so easy. I actually did a test one last night and I couldn't believe how easy this was. So stay tuned for next week. I'm out. I'll give you a hint. I'm getting some fabric glue and hot glue gun uh, glue sticks and ribbon. That's all the tips you're going to get. My gosh, I am so chic. Okay. Did I do that right? Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know. All right. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. So I can't exactly play the song I'm dancing to because I don't think I could afford the copyright, but it is definitely Childish Gambino pumping in the background. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for me. This is all normal, I promise. I'll see you next Sunday.